Jai Ram 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 Jai 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 Ram
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare.
Being fully satisfied by the perfect questions of the Brahmanas, thank them and thus attempt to reply. Purport. The sage of Nami Sharani asked Sutta Goswami six questions, as though he is answering them one by one. And today we will speak a little bit on these words about Pariprasna. And then tomorrow we will continue. Short purport, but we read about Pariprasna. Namo Vishnupada, Krishna Prasthana, Bhutaya, Shimate, Bhaktivita, Tasvabi, Nitina. Namaste, Sarasvati Devi, Gauravani, Pracharine. Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Pashyakta Desha Tarine Hare Krishna Here we see that uh, Sutta Goswami was fully satisfied my questions of uh, six my six questions of uh, Brahmanas already asked, said about these six questions last time. I can uh, repeat for you. One question said, please explain what is a benefit for humanity. Second question was, what is the essence of all Vedic Shastras? By which Atma will be pleased? You understand English? Yes. 
Then the third question was, what is the purpose of Krishna's Janma? Then the fourth question was Krishna's pastimes. And uh, five these questions was avatars, different stories of different avatars. Then the sixth question is uh, where is Dharma? Because when Krishna left this planet, Dharma is eternal parishad, the associate of Krishna. Dharma also left. Dhyana Varagi also there. They actually the eternal parishad, the eternal associates of Krishna. But where are they now? Where Krishna now? If Krishna is not here, where is where we can take shelter? So <clears throat> your answer will be given here. And uh, this second uh, chapter is about Abhide or Bhakti, and also about Go Prayojana, Prema. So, in uh, these first two chapters, all everything is given in a very uh, compressed form. If you understand these first two chapters, you can understand everything. It is not easy. Therefore, we need big Bhagavatam. And uh, also, Bhagavatam is not enough, we need Chitan Charitamrita. Bhaktisiddhanta Rasvetta Guru told, the main book for our Kali Yuga is Chitan Charitamrita. But without going through Bhagavatam, you cannot understand. But Bhagavatam is not possible to understand without surrendering. That is the conclusion of Bhagavad Gita. How to surrender, Bhagavad Gita is explaining many things. And even you read all these books, a problem will come. You know Uddhav Prabhu? This problem. Which problem? You know? Which problem? Hmm? Doubt problem. Mind. Because we cannot read these books, actually, even. Uh, no qualification. So we need mercy. Therefore, first required is association with Sadhu. Sadhu Sangha is required. Then uh, through the Sadhu Sangha we can understand everything. And uh, it is said uh, also in Shastras Tadvidhi pranipate na pari prashne na sevaya padikshantite gyanam gyanina stattva darshina. So we should approach Sadhu first, we should pranipat, surrender to Sadhu, then to Krishna. Sadhu will uh, teach us how to surrender to Krishna. And uh, then after a humble way, Pranipat, we ask questions to clarify our doubts. Because maybe we surrender, but some doubts are there. Because of weakness. So much bad association we were having. And then it is said in Srimad Bhagavatam, 10th Canto, First chapter, 16 verse. This is a very important verse. Vasudeva katha prashna purusham strim punadihi Bhaktaram prachakam shrotrim stadpada salilam yatha The Ganga, emanating from the toe of Lord Vishnu, purifies three worlds. The upper, middle and lower planetary system. Similarly, when one asks questions about the pastimes and characteristics of Lord Vasudeva, Krishna, the three varieties of men are purified. So, three varieties of men are here. One is speaker, preacher. One is uh, who is inquires, and one is who listening. And uh, there is some gradation. Uh, when uh, Ganga is uh, coming uh, from the Karana Samudra, Karana Ocean, coming to the material world, it is said from the toe of the lotus feet of Vishnu, because uh, Bhagavan, he made, made the hole by his, by his toe, his lotus feet. He made the a hole in the uni in the uh, jagat. And through this hole, 
Ganga is slow, slow, flowing. And uh, when Ganga is flowing, most purified is the highest planetary system. Most purified. Then, less purified, uh, like we say, middle pl uh, planetary system or Earth, Earth planetary system. Then, uh, less, more or less purified, the lower planetary system. So we can see then uh, uh, Swarga Loka is purified most, then Buloka purified less, and then Patana Loka and all Narakas purified less. The same thing, who is speaking about uh, Srimad Bhagavatam, he is, he is purified more, who is asking questions purified less, who is listening, purified this. This is said by Shatras, in Shatras. And uh, <clears throat> today we will speak about Pariprasna because the topic of this chapter is Bhakti. But how do develop Bhakti without uh, this principle? Many are reading Bhagavad Gita, and many commentaries on Bhagavad Gita, but what is the essence of Bhagavad Gita? Who knows? What is the essence of Bhagavad Gita, you know? Uh, surrender is a very high thing. But essence, if you understand essence, you can understand surrender. What is the essence? You can say. Who read Bhagavad Gita? You read? Shikan. You didn't read Bhagavad Gita. You, you read? Prabhupada Bhagavad Gita, you read? Krishna read. You should read Bhagavad Gita, therefore you get so many doubts. So, actually, actually one thing Verse 434. This is the essence of Bhagavad Gita. If you don't know this, you cannot get Bhagavad Gita. You cannot surrender even. Krishna is explaining to Arjuna this thing. That first we should, to know this absolute truth, we should first pranipat surrender to Sadhu. Sadhu Guru, then you should ask questions in a humble way, and should do seva. It is a very important verse. It is the essence of Bhagavad Gita. But many, they are taking many different things. Therefore, Prabhupada said, Pushpita Vacha, flowering language of Vedas. They, it is also attracting. But we should know essence. And uh, Therefore, uh, when we are speaking about uh, Lord Vasudeva, we are getting purified. And who is getting uh, uh, like yes, that is what I want to say. And I said it, but it's from Vishwanath Chakravarti, that is gradation. So, then, what we are getting every day? What knowledge we are getting? This material knowledge. Material, material knowledge cannot help us to understand what is Krishna's beauty. Who is engaged in accumulation, accumulating knowledge cannot understand how Krishna is beautiful. How, yes. How Krishna is uh, attracting, all attracting. And yesterday, very nice, Maharaj said, Maharaj spoke about uh, that to understand Krishna is not easy. First, we should understand Tattva. Who is Gauranga Mahaprabhu? Who is Nityananda Mahaprabhu? Then, Maharaj telling about mercy of Nityananda Prabhu is required. What is mercy of Nityananda Prabhu? Who is Nityananda Prabhu? Gurudev. Gurudev is Nityananda Prabhu. Actually, Gurudev is no different than Nityananda Prabhu. Therefore, mercy of Nityananda Prabhu is required. And uh, therefore, we can say some aspect we creep a city. Oh. Because without mercy of uh, Nityananda Prabhu, Gurudev, we cannot do sadhana even. Even sadhana we cannot do. What is big about sadhana? No, sadhana in Kali Yuga. No one is uh, eligible to do sadhana. 
they bore on your rope creeper. Not Maharaj yesterday spoke different meaning of Kripa City. It's also there. That Kripa City means one didn't do anything. Just is uh, so sadhu immediately he, became, he got prema. It is uh, sometimes maybe it happened but it's very rare. But actually most uh, common meaning of this Kripa City means when you meet Sadhu, you get Kripa from Sadhu, not Kripa from Krishna, it means. Maharaj meant is the Kripa from Krishna, Kripa Siddhi, but means Kripa from Sadhu. By when you're getting Kripa from Krishna, you're getting Sadhu, actually. He spoke about this many times. So therefore, it's very important to listen to Sadhu, associate with him, uh, get his merciful glance. And it, it will help us to make advancement in spiritual life. And many times I say that by YouTube very difficult to surrender. Because to surrender we need to accumulate some sukrit, some mercy. I was waiting yesterday when Maharaj will speak about it, but he didn't speak. But a very important thing. When he said we should, he said how long you will do sadhana? How long you will uh, practice? He said, it, he said it depends on us. He said. It depends on us, okay, but where from we will get Shakti? That is question. Where from we will get Shakti? We will get Shakti only from Sadhu. Maybe we accumulated some Shakti in past life, but uh, not. Uh, it's very rare. Very rare. Who just without associating with Sadhu became great devotee, like Gordon the Swami, like this. Like Prabhupada. Actually, most cases uh, it's not happening. Most cases we need Kripa. And, but Sadhu is also very rare. Association with Sadhu is very rare. Most of, most of us, we are practicing Bhaktas. Some Kripa is there, but not uh, practicing Bhakti cannot give Kripa. Because he, some, he also needs Kripa. Therefore, process is there. Process is given. Therefore, Mar uh, Maharaj didn't say about this yesterday. Because if he said that Sadhu is giving Kripa, everyone will ask, You Sadhu, give me Kripa. It is not happening like this. Actually, Sadhu is already giving Kripa when he is coming and giving class. When he is giving merciful glance to us and speaking to us. And uh, that is, therefore, it is not uh, easy for everyone to understand this. <clears throat> because everyone is accumulating material knowledge. And when uh, we are uh, making sadhu, we also are thinking, we can accumulate something. Sadhu, give me kripa, give me blessing, I accumulate. But kripa is not like this. Kripa you cannot accumulate. Maharaj yesterday said it's like hot potato. You take this kripa, immediately you give. Immediately you should do something. Otherwise, uh, this Kripa will be torn to material happiness, material enjoyment. Yes, therefore, Sadhu is not easily giving Kripa. First, he is giving to us knowledge, some knowledge. And also, by his merciful glance, we can get some knowledge. Yes, little bit, little bit. When our heart will become purified, then we can get Kripa. When we get Kripa from Sadhu, then we understand that only my one duty is to do Sadhana. And how I can do Sadhana? Only by the mercy of Sadhu. should pray, and by His mercy I can do something. And we will speak about this uh, more later, uh, the other topic. What I wanted to say, that we cannot achieve Krishna by uh, it is said ascending order. It is aroha. Step by step going. One step, one step. This means sadhana. We cannot achieve Krishna by sadhana. That I want to say. It is said in Chitain Jiridamrita. Bahujan Makore Jadishravana Kirtona. You can do sadhana many, many lifetimes, but it will not give any result. 
get to Shravan and Kirtan many lifetimes. We need descending process. Descending process means Avaroha. We need mercy coming from up to down. Yes. You can uh, like switch off your mobile phone. So, mercy coming, flowing like a Ganges water. The same. If water is coming, water coming where? Where? Down place, low place, water will come. In some mountain he was there, water will not come. They have mercy like this. Mercy have liquid nature. Mercy has liquid nature. And uh, in this material world we are getting some knowledge, material knowledge. But you cannot feel Bhagavan Krishna, cannot perceive him. There is no other way. Like yesterday Maharaj spoke to one uh, devotee who wanted to go to Canada, study there. Maharaj very strongly was speaking this. Many, many Indian people, they st starting practice bhakti. At the same time they delay, stop, because of friends. Friends uh, going to movies, going to restaurants, they follow following friends, very strong relationships. At the same time, friends want to go to Canada or America, it is, they also go. Even they don't want to go there. Even they, by knowledge, they know, but they got knowledge from Sadhu that no happiness is there, no difference. But they go because friends. And this is bad association, should give up this. Otherwise you cannot advance in bhakti path. Because these so-called friends, actually, so-called friends, they are speaking only about material knowledge, material things, and become proud. But uh, only one way, how to get Krishna. We should, first we should give up ascending order. We should understand, by our force you cannot get Krishna. But that doesn't mean you should not get do sadhana, no. We do sadhana, but only by mercy to Krishna. That means we kripa city, everyone. If we cannot get kripa, we cannot do sadhana. And how get mercy? They said we should listen to Krishna Katha and chant holy name. First, our sadhana is like this. Then we have Kadeshi, we have Prasad, all this. And uh, how we can we should listen to this other thing? I mean, it's concluding now. We're concluding first chapter uh, by submissively following. There is one word. It is called anugatya, Guru Anugatya. And this word given by Jiva Goswami. Anugatya means submissively following, but uh, actually it is not full meaning. Uh, submissively following with some love, some attachment should be. If one is li listening Krishna Katha and also submissively following Sadhu, he can get Krishna. Because it's not easy to come to Krishna. We should follow those person who already came to Krishna, or already has come to Krishna. So therefore, what I'm speaking, I'm just speaking what I'm listening from this person. Therefore, it can do, give some profit for your soul. And the uh, one who developed false pride, he cannot listen to Gata. So we should listen uh, because we don't know. We don't know anything. In this way we can listen. We will listen very attentively only if we think that I don't know anything. But pride people, they say, oh, we know everything. No need to come here on class. Yes, because I am Japadaksham disciple. Here, uh, uh, speaker is not Japadaksham disciple. He is disciple of Japadaksham disciple. Why I should listen? <laughs> like this. Yes, it's happening. So I know everything. Why should go and listen? I know. If one will know that I know everything, then he cannot get any any knowledge about Krishna, or he can get little knowledge but not full, not complete. 
That means some doubts there. He just allowing to allowing his mind to have some doubts, keep some doubts. But main rule is there, you should know. Whatever doubt is coming, you should immediately clarify. We should be free from doubts. How clarify doubts? And we are not listening to anyone. Only YouTube. Only some recordings. If you have some doubts, you should ask. You should ask questions and listen. But also one thing is important. If we are asking questions, but we don't have any tolerance to listen, what, what is the use of this pariprasna? What is the use of giving questions? Some people, they are asking many, many questions. One question taken, but no tolerance to listen. Sometimes they are asking many questions, but not listening to answer. Or one question, every time one question, the same question. And uh, therefore we should ask about something, we should get answering, and then we should apply. We should follow in our life what we listen. Then we can digest. Otherwise, what is the use to ask questions? No need. Class is going? Looking? Okay. Watch. What? Because we want to know the time when we should do something. We have to do something. Because if we are not acting, we are not engaged in some activities, what is the use to look at watch? We look at watch because we need to do something. Because uh, the same thing, if you apply the knowledge that you are getting in the class, if you apply, that means you do something. Then you can ask questions. That means it, it is the reason to ask questions, to do parikrash. They, how, at the same time, uh, we are looking at watch because we are active. At the same time, we are asking questions because we are acting. We are applying the knowledge. You understand this? And uh, if we are not acting according answering we are getting, what is the use of asking questions? Same thing I am repeating. So we are going to sadhu, approaching sadhu. Asking questions. Nowadays is not like this. Nowadays Sadhu is coming and he is giving class because it's ordinary class. Or maybe he is not Sadhu. We don't know. How we know this is Sadhu or not Sadhu? We have some doubts. From the beginning we have some doubts. But if we have some humility, some humble way, deny it. Yes? We we we'll pray to Krishna. Krishna sent me opportunity to get association. Then the Krishna will get give. Will get association. And uh, then uh, one thing is there important, important. What we should do? How we should apply? What we listen? This this activity is called bhakti. So this actually what we are doing we're doing bhakti. And uh, in this second chapter, all about bhakti. If one is not doing any bhakti, why should we ask any questions? Sometimes a uh, new program and people coming and uh, they are asking many questions. But the uh, speaker is not happy to answer. Because all questions uh, with some challenge is there. And for, uh, it's not pariprasna. Pariprasna seva means that after this we should do some seva. We are asking how to do seva nicely. That is our question. How to do bhakti. Because when we are asking, we are getting jnana. That is divya jnana. And uh, our activity is starting. An activity, as I said, to serve the Bhagavan. Otherwise, why one need to get diksha? What is the need? To put Kanthimali. Kanthimalas to put tilak. 
no, not necessary. Diksha means one is getting knowledge from Guru. Sambandagya. And by this knowledge he can be engaged in seva bhakti. One is not uh, doing any seva, what is the use of diksha? So, and then question ask, until which moment we should ask? Should ask question, until which moment? Until one will not be fully satisfied, should ask questions. Until you get full satisfaction, you should ask questions. We can be approaching Guru just to ask questions. How we should ask questions? By listening Guru, by doing Bhakti Seva. Uh, will we get some uh, satisfaction from our Seva? No discussion. Other question. By doing Seva to Bhagavan, one will never gain satisfaction. Therefore, Pariprasna will never stop. That my Guru just told. And until we will not get any satisfaction, we should always ask questions from Gurudev, always do Pariprasna. And Gurudev always will give many, many answers, just to glorify our doubts. That means he is giving sound, Shabda. What is the need of Shabda? Shabda will give some information to us. By listening this sound, we can know about what is very far from us. Therefore, sound is there. Now I'm speaking here, and people can listen to me there, on the other side of the road. Because very loud. Right? Because it's sound, Shabda. But meaning of Shabda means we can know about Krishna. Krishna is very far. How we can know about him? By Shabda, listen. Sound. Sound coming from Krishna. Otherwise, how we can get Krishna? Gurudev speaking about Krishna. And by sound we can know who is Krishna, how he looks, uh, what qualities of Krishna. Yes. And uh, because our knowledge we are getting here, this knowledge is limited by three dimensions. You know, I already spoke. This, this, this. <laughs> like length, height and weight. And, uh, but Krishna is only in fourth dimension. Fourth dimension is called Turiya, transcendental. But we don't know anything about Turiya. In our school, no one is speaking about this. In college, no one is speaking. We should listen to someone who has knowledge about this fourth dimension. And also, uh, Guru Dev told that not four dimension is not also enough. There is fifth stage. Fifth stage. Like uh, four dimension is transcendental dimension. But fifth stage we can know only by the mercy of Mahaprabhu and his dear devotees. This is Vrindavan. Vrindavan. Because fourth dimension, what does it mean? Many sampradayas, Vaishnava sampradayas, there, in, uh, in South India, some uh, gurus, sadhus, they know four dimension. But fifth stage, very rare, only Mahaprabhu brought. But the goal of our life is to go there, on the fifth stage. And those who are giving us satsanga, sadhu sangha, they cannot understand this. With better association. So therefore, in Vrindavan, on the shore of Yamuna river, we can get this fifth stage. Already said, fifth mana. But this fifth, no, fifth tone of Krishna's fruit. Very sweet sound is coming from Krishna's flute. Bhagavan Krishna's flute. And remaining in fourth dimension, we cannot understand this flute of Krishna. To Krishna. Why? Because on Vaikuntha there is no sound of Krishna's flute. On Vaikuntha, all the reverence is there. Therefore, there is no pure love in Vaikuntha. Only Mukti is there. 
and uh, only Krishna's flute is in Vrindavan. Like white people so much uh, argue, this uh, our uh, planet is globe or it is like disk. Yes, you know why? Because when you look at globe, you cannot see it, you cannot see it completely. Therefore, they are in. We can see only some part of the part, fourth part. This Jagat material ball is only fourth part of Krishna's vibhuti, Krishna's opulence. Therefore, at the same time, we cannot understand material ball. And if whatever we are seeing here, this is only fourth part of Krishna's opulence. And three other opulence you cannot see. This is Ekapadvi Bhuti. So we can see only one fourth of part of Krishna's op opulence. And uh, in this Ekapadvi Bhuti, we are limited by three things. Process of vision, some who is seeing, process of seeing, uh, seer, and some who is, is to be seen. You understand? In this material world, there is one object. At, uh, for example, I look at uh, Rahul. Rahul is to be seen. I am seer. And this process of seeing is there. But what is beyond this, I don't know. Because we see by material eyes. Therefore, our vision is very limited. But Vaikuntha vision is also not complete. Vaikuntha vision is 50% vision. Because in Vaikuntha is only two and a half rasas. It's Krishna. You know, two and a half rasas. Shanta, Dasya, and Sakya with uh, Dasya, little Sakya, Gaurava Sakya. It's all in reverence. You can say it's not Sakya, only half, half of Sakya. How we can get full Darshan? That is Ayasuprish. Because in material world, my only Mansa Darshan. You can see Mansa, flesh. You not see the soul. How can we full Darshan? Then we should develop mood for pure love. No own reverence should be. That is called Vishramba. Some Brahma and Vishramba. This you should know this word. Some Brahma means own reverence. Vishramba means pure love. Now Vaikuntha, on Vaikuntha planet only some Brahma Lila. All reverence is there. But in Vrindavan, Vishramba Lila. Therefore, in Vrindavan, no one say Krishna is God. Krishna is God. Krishna is only object of love. Vishnamba Seva. So, if we can understand Krishna Tattva, then we can understand all Tattvas. So, we see, speaking about very high things now. Fourth dimension, then fifth stage. And uh, if we listening with material consciousness about fourth dimension, about fifth stage, we will, we will say, Krishna is devotee, Lampata, devotee. Hey, many, many women is like, like women, like ordinary men. And we will commit operative offense. The word is Maharaj told yesterday, first you should get mercy of Mahaprabhu. By mercy of Mahaprabhu, we can become free from offenses. Otherwise, we have some offensive vision. First of all, we should know who is Mahaprabhu. And to know who is Mahaprabhu, we should associate with his dear devotees. As I said, we should get mercy from his dear devotees. And Chaitanya Bhakti will give Siddhanta, conclusion. No need to study so much. Get some conclusion, you can understand. And for this, we should give up bad association. You should go and associate with Sadhana. But how to give a better association? If we close the door, if we sit in our room, better association, Dukh will, will be. 
Why? Because we will associate with our mind. So, if one really doing sadhusanya, he will not develop any interest to listen about something other than Krishna. There is also one reason why it is difficult to do sadhusanya. Because I am independent. And I can think also independently. As a Dharmendra Prabhu told me, that in our stage, he said, everyone knows Krishna. If they, if you speak something, they will not listen to you, they will speak to you. That means independence. I am independent. I have right to speak something, because I know. That is a big problem. When people getting not complete knowledge, proud is coming. People know about Krishna in India, but because this knowledge is not complete, is not from the right source, this is proud, pride. Therefore, when we are speaking to them about Krishna, they say, Ah, we know Krishna, not interesting. But in Russia, people don't know about Krishna. Then you speak them about Krishna, immediately they surrender. That is the difference. But in, uh, in India and in Russia, pure devotee were rare. No matter which place. But uh, what we need? We don't go to Sadhu and give, our, give up our independence. Our independent nature we should give to Sadhu. But to do this, we should first of all have Shraddha, faith. Then question comes. Faith to what? Faith to what? should believe in what? Hmm? First of all, Guru Vakya. What is Guru saying? Guru Vakya, Padma Vakya, Chittiti Kuriya. Guru Mokha Padma Vakya. So then, naturally, this will be Shrota Panti, or the way of listening. That is Bhakti Panti. If someone other will speak about material world, you will never listen to him. He will speak something about Madhuru, you will not be attracted. Because Sadhusanga is giving to you power. And you will become free from desire to do sinful activities and to do pious activities. It will not attract you. Because actually if you do some pious activities, you will get more happiness, Sri Kantaru. You will become more pious, you will get more happiness in your life. But you never go to Krishna. But when you will get seed of bhakti, bhakti vata bija, then all your doubts will be destroyed. If one will have some doubts, he cannot get Krishna, he cannot see Krishna. So therefore it is said, until we get shelter, take shelter of the spiritual energy, we will have some fear. Some fear is there. Then one explanation is there. Why are we doing bhakti? What is the reason? Can you say Krishna Vedi? Why do we need to understand Bhagavan? You want to become a pandit? Why do you need to understand Bhagavan? Why do we need to do seva? Bhakti? Uh, and uh, by this love, what we will get? We will get Krishna. Yes. So why we need Krishna? Actually, as I see, you don't need Krishna. No? You need only knowledge about Krishna. <laughs> you should think about this. So if we have some uh, desire to get something, that called prayojana. We should first we understand what is prayojana. Otherwise, what we, why we are doing bhakti? And to get this, you should have desire to get this first. And when one will get bhakti bija, seed of bhakti, that means he will get desire or some hope. Maybe some people also will say, by words, by lips they will say, I also desire to get Krishna. But only by lips. Because they have no hope. They are hopeless position. 
They are saying, it's not possible for me, not possible, because karma, so much karma. But when Sadhu is giving bhakti seed or bhakti, he is giving hope. So Krishna already is uh, eyes like shining. He is saying, oh, I want to get Krishna, yes. And this hope is not a uh, result of our imagination, not manufactured thing. It is real hope. This, it is real seed of bhakti. It is Chetana Dharma. Like, uh, we have two things. There is Asha and the one is Nirasha. Nirasha means hopelessness. Hopelessness, it is other Manodharma, speculation. When one is doing something, inventing something, this Manodharma. But where is the hope? You can become very strong. So, your friends who come, uh, for example, and say, go to my shur, do Ashtanga Vinyasa Yoga study. Because of this you will become strong, you will do a long life, and then you can get bhakti. You will say to him, I don't need, because uh, uh, prema, how you get prema? You will say, how, who get prema? Prema is very rare. You see, in our uh, community, who got prema? Maharajis, they come, do, do you think he get prema? You ask him, no, not get prema. Prema only Prabhupada, maybe got prema, maybe some devotees got prema. But. So then, hopeless, I mean, hopeless position come, hopelessness. Then you think, yes, better do Ashtanga Vinyasa. Maybe in my life it will be useful. One day maybe I will seek, I will do something. And they will be cured. Then you come there, some uh, teachers come to you and say, and first you should uh, meditate, you should do this, do that. And you think, oh, no need to take Krishna Prasad. No need to go Bhagavatam. Because uh, no peace is there. You see, even our uh, speaker is always uh, agitated. He saying, why are you doing, not doing this, why are you not doing that? So angry, always speaking emotions. So better I do some peace I will get. So two hours in a day I'm doing Ashtanga and Yas. And also changing Kari Krishna. After some time, stop changing. I know this case. In Russia one devotee, he was Brahman, giving classes, many things. But also he was yogi. He was practicing, giving classes. What happened? Divorced with his wife. Now, only doing yoga, traveling, living in Bali, now enjoying sex, enjoying uh, women, everything, and teaching yoga. Because it's very famous, many coming, many Mataji coming. And he's saying, and, and before I was bewildered, when I was in Krishna consciousness, now I understood what is the goal of life. What is this? That is hopelessness, that is not hope. But he got hopelessness from bad association. Because of, due to bad association, he lost his hope. First, he got hope from spiritual master, that is seed of bhakti. But instead of growing seed, he ate this seed. Therefore, for such devotee, very difficult to come back. If he is come back after some many sufferings, he will be very weak. He will Again, someone should give him this hope, seed of bhakti. Because so much manodharma, I have my own opinion, my own, idea, my own ideas. So yoga is only one example. I can give many examples, different. Somebody, someone giving respect to Vivekananda Ramakrishna, also the same thing. You read, you listening them, then you follow them. It's like this. You give first, you give respect to them, then you listen, then you follow them. Therefore, Prabhupada very boldly, he is speaking about different, different sadhus in India. So that sometimes he think rascals. Even I cannot say like this. Prabhupada was so strong he could say. Why we, why we were saying this? Because if he's saying that they are sadhu, we go and give respect, then associate. We, even not physically, in our mind we will associate. So many doubts will come. Without better association, without good association. 
Prabhupada said, even you associate with someone not in our line. Also Gaudi Vaishnava line, but not in our line. You will develop doubts. Why? Because he can speak something other. Something manufactured, something it. In our line also many things like this. Therefore we know that only one line is there. Only Mahaprabhu's line. And who is truly follow Mahaprabhu, we follow them. I have no doubt that Prabhupada is truly follower of Mahaprabhu. Because he is truly follower of Bhaktisandara Swami. Bhaktisandara Swami is truly follower of Bhaktisandara We are not saying that so many movements are there, so many organizations are there. No. ISKCON, okay, ISKCON is there. But more important, Mahaprabhu's line. We follow Mahaprabhu's line. My Guru has told me like this. Even someone is not in his corner, but he is following Mahaprabhu's line. He will accept everything Prabhupada has given. If he is really following Mahaprabhu, he will never have any doubt in Prabhupada. Therefore, Prabhupada in the Bhagavatam many times he was writing a movement of Krishna consciousness, a movement of Lord Chaitanya, not saying is called. Because we are not attached to institution, we are attached to movement of Lord Chaitanya. And is called because it is the best condition for this movement, this is called. Therefore we are following is called. Even is called there will know Param Pratichi, why we will follow is called. That is the reason. Everything Krishna is. Even Prabhupada said that Iskon is like my body, like some devotees they say. Why Prabhupada said? Because devotees in Iskon they follow Prabhupada correctly. Prabhupada following Mahaprabhu's correctly. You know, I never was not saying that Prabhupada giving only for Western people, but for Indian people we, we should have some other teaching. It's not correct. Maksandra Zodi was not thinking like this. We therefore, why doubt is coming? Doubt is coming because we have no hope to get Krishna. Therefore, doubt is coming. First of all, we have doubts. There are three types of doubts. First doubts we have in, in that Krishna is the Supreme Bhagavan. So many uh, speakers coming and speaking only about this. Because they are thinking that only we have uh, children level. We are only children, only children do. Not like this. Actually, if you speak to people, to children only, like to children, they will never grow up. But uh, these doubts nicely clarified in his call. Many speakers can clarify. They say that Krishna is the Supreme Lord. Everyone can accept this. Yes? Yes. Then second doubt, that Shuddha Bhakti is the only way. This doubts uh, more often you can read. Not so many speakers can clarify this doubt. That Shuddha Bhakti is the only way. Some they think that maybe some mix need be there, maybe some compromise. And when you already accepted that Shuddha Bhakti is the only way, there is sort of doubt. doubt. Mishnah. Maybe I cannot get Krishna in my life. Maybe I will not get. So this hopelessness coming to me due to bad association. And uh, this doubt is good. To have this doubt is good because if you have already got full faith that Krishna is the Supreme Lord, then you need only do Shuddha Bhakti without any material desires. You are already in safe position. You have strong faith. But you have not developed prema. That's only one thing. But because of this doubt, you will try to do more, 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 to cry more and more, and you will get no more mercy. Actually, even a very elevated devotee, they say like this: that I didn't get Krishna. This doubt is good. Therefore, this doubt is good. Yes. Maybe I cannot get Krishna in this life. Maybe I'm very poor. This doubt is good. Because more, more we 
uh, know about Krishna, more we understand, we cannot know Krishna. You ask, you want to get knowledge about Krishna. Krishna is unlimited, so you can get knowledge about Krishna. Better surrender. Not, not possible, but even we cannot limit Krishna, we cannot know Krishna, but we feeling so much ecstasy, so much happiness. Because even we li know little about Krishna, this little is giving to us so much bliss, so much taste. Therefore, these questions will never stop. Always one asking questions about Krishna, because he will never be satisfied. Atma will never be satisfied. And uh, Raghunanda Goswami he said about uh, what sometimes we speaking Om Gyan Timrandasya Gyanan Jana Shalaka before giving class. But Raghunanda Goswami never speaking this shloka, he is speaking other shloka. Nama Shreshta Manuma Pishachi Putra Matra Swarupam Rupam Tasya Graja Murupurim Maturim Goshtavadim Radha Kundangiri Varamaho Radhika Madhavasam Prabhu Yasya Pradita Kripaya Shigurum Tam Natosmi That is big, very important. One day maybe we will speak more about this. He is saying, I completely indebted uh, of my Gurudev who gave to me so much and in this shloka in this verse he is saying what Gurudev gave to him is uh, he gave me Nama Shrestha, the best holy name which is giving to me the highest hope and highest aspiration then not, not only this, he gave me opportunity to do service to the Supreme uh, Pavana, Patita Pavana, Shachi Putra, Mahaprabhu. Then he gave to me service to Shichitanya Mahaprabhu, who is like golden mountain. This is one uh, translation of this. Girivaram. Golden Mountain, who is showing to us the way to Krishna Lila. Very best. The best uh, explanation. It's like Golden Mountain showing the way to Krishna Lila. You go to this Golden Mountain of Mahaprabhu, and little by little you go to Krishna Lila. You can, this shloka is translated differently. Other uh, translation is, he gave to me service to our uh, Savior of the Fallen Souls, Sri Jidani Mahaprabhu, and his associate Swarupada Madara. Because actually, through Swarupada Madara, everyone was getting mercy to uh, associated Mahaprabhu. He was his, his own secretary. And also he gave me association with Srila Rupa Goswami, who, got, who took the order to distribute the deepest Desire of your heart. Raganuga Bhakti. Spontaneous devotional service. Always Gurudev gave me Srila Sanatana Goswami, who is giving Samanda Gyan, the correct understanding of relationship with Krishna. And also he gave me Madura, Madura Mandala, the place, Dhamma, where I can remember about relationship with Krishna. Radha and Govinda. And also he gave me the best uh, understanding of position of Shishi Radha Kund, highest position of Radha Kund, place of Radha Govinda's leaders. He gave me Giriraj Govardhan, Girivaram, this meaning. And finally he gave me hope, one day I will get service of, of Radha and Krishna. So this I got from my Gurudev, guarantee. Therefore, in full respect I offer him a business with his lotus feet. Very nice, yes? Very nice. So, if we have desire for something material, 
de Radha Madhava Seva Asha, desire or hope to serve personally to Radha and Krishna will never appear in our mind. Therefore, we should become free from material desires. There is one song of Bhakti Nathakur. Nija karma dosha phale Pori baba nabajale Aburu bu kai kota kala Santari santai jai Sindhu andal nahi pai Baba Sindhu ananta bisola Becoming completely submerged and drawn in this ocean, I have loudly called out with a greatly distressed voice for someone to come and rescue me. At that time you came to me, O Lord, knowing that you are the safe shelter of the shore of this fearful ocean has given me a ray of hope. You, dear Lord, you actually made a compassion, made of compassion. I am completely convinced that you are the original source of the highest form of causeless mercy. Now this most fallen rascal, but you know that, wondering one will not reject you anymore. For as the befitting object of causeless mercy have attained the favor of he who abounds in causeless mercy. So due to Sadhu Sangha we can know about the final destination of our life. And this destination is Krishna. By Sadhu Sangha one can get Krishna. Jai Gandhara Shimat Bhagavatam Ki Jai, Shila Prabhupada Ki Jai, Ananda Bhajivashna Vrinda Ki Jai, Guru Maharaj Ki Jai, Nitai Guru Pranananda Hari Guru. Thank you very much. If you have some questions, you can ask. Yes. And they need to again get the money. Yes. It's like they again have to be leaving. The comment of Vaishnava fits, yes. He, uh, all his bank balance finished. This he needs to be reinitiated. Ah, you speak about reinitiation. Maybe reinitiation is not needed, formally no needed. But uh, more important to God, Shikshan. If Guru will not be there, he should get some mercy from other Guru. If Guru is, uh, is there, it's possible, more possible to get uh, gain mercy from Guru, his Guru and start. But in many ways, people who are coming back, they are coming with proud. Right. Pride. Like uh, in uh, Bhuvaneshwar was one story, one Devotee, he actually he did sex with one mother, married. And he came to her and she said, 
no sin, because you chanting Hare Krishna, I am chanting. No sin will be. So Mataji, actually Mataji almost kills the weak. They cannot uh, do anything. So this senior devotee, so, so she violated principle. And uh, then when uh, husband knew that was a big problem, and uh, Kurgan Swami, he said, I reject him immediately. He said, I reject him. When he's speaking like this, I reject him. So many devotees, they ask him, please show mercy on him. He is apologizing, please show mercy on him. He said, never. Then uh, the devotee asking, he said, okay, okay. Uh, before, before he, he was saying never, and he was sitting on the in front of temple of Bhuvaneshwar, and uh, he was sitting there and paying them the words to anyone who is coming, and asking, please come to Gurudev, and ask Gurudev, please Gurudev will excuse me, please come to Gurudev. He always many days, in, even in the winter, he was sitting there. You can imagine. And uh, always he was crying like this. So then after some time, Gurgan said, the devotee said, he is sitting a long time, now he is very weak there. Please uh, he, he, excuse him. Gurgan said, okay, I excuse him. He only, but he offended this devotee. This devotee, husband of this wife, he should uh, give apologies. And two, uh, two times it happened in Bhuvanesha. One time, husband didn't give excuse, but uh, one this one 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 time, uh, the husband said, "Okay, okay, I will not take offense." Okay, and uh, this devotee he came back, but uh, other was other uh, condition was to give two hundred uh, dandavas to Vaishnavas, but he could not because he was very weak. He was fasting, he was very weak. So the devotee said, he cannot. Gurgan said, okay. And he came back. But when he came back, uh, he was not so strong, and after some time, no one knows what he's doing now. But when he came back, some pride will be there also. It remained. Some are also devotees, they fall in, then they coming back, they again becoming leaders, shiksha gurus, presidents like this. That is not the no good way. That means uh, they, they, they cannot be corrected. The people cannot be corrected. But uh, the other people, people who is coming back should be very humble. The same foreign left. Will be very, they can practice. And many Prabhupada disciples, after Prabhupada left, they uh, stopped practice. And then came back, after some time came back. And uh, now they practice uh, nicely. But uh, only due to association with devotees, they develop this. Because if one is living guru, living practice, that means he has not developed Shraddha. So he got some hope, but he lost this hope. That means. Guru gave Siddha Bhakti, but he lost this. Therefore, <coughs> he needs someone else who will give him this. Therefore, our Prabhupada departure, some devotees, they are going to Prabhupada's good brothers like this and getting this seed of bhakti from them. But instructions were different. Meaning, well, mood was different. Therefore, some doubts developed, they developed in his cone and Prabhupada also. Many things were like this. And uh, Prabhupada actually he knew that not many will follow Nasa because Prabhupada's idea was to establish big movement. He wanted to preach, immediately make big movement. Without big movement, how it can be spread? But uh, as Borgandi Swami was many times saying that 
Prabhupada, he made a basement. Gave to a basement. Now we should build big building, big temple. Prabhupada only make a basement. But our work is very hard work. We should also do many things. In this basement, we should build, reconstruct very big building. This is school. That means not enough just to distribute to many, many, many. More important is also to help others to grow the seed. More important. One day Prabhupada also said like this. He said, in our school, enough devotees. Now we will boil the milk. Boiling the milk, he said. Not put the water on the milk to make more milk. But uh, boil the milk. Maybe milk will be less, but it will be nice milk. Prabhupada. But after some time, when he started to do it, immediately movement started to spread. And uh, Sankirtana movement started from this book, distribution movement started from this. Before they didn't distribute so many books. Or maybe they didn't distribute anyway. But they started to distribute after this Prabhupada's order that we should boil the milk. Boiling the milk is very important. But now we're boiling every day, Bhagavatam, the Sadhu uh, Association. I'm not Sadhu, but these instructions are uh, also important. It's giving to us strength, Shakti. So then uh, our movement will be very strong. Hare Krishna. Some question also? Yes. Today is Ekadashi. Uh, in the last Ekadashi you said uh, every Ekadashi we should evaluate, we should check. Analyze. Tell them. So can you tell how to do that and then what if uh, we realize Better uh, Vaishnavas, uh, actually some of Prabhupada's disciples, like Niranjan Swami, he uh, even uh, saying to his disciples to have some diaries. Have some diaries and uh, analyze what is going on, what I got today, like this. But Bhagavad uh, Gita told at least, at least, once in, uh, in the Kadashi, you should analyze how much you uh, made advancement. And some rice, some diary you can get. And uh, you can see how many material desires you develop, or how many you become free, how much you become free from material desires. You become more strong or more weak. From this you can understand. You advance or not. If you're not advanced, that means something you're doing wrong. You should analyze how to correct. Everyone, I also doing diaries many years. Doing diaries. Even I, when I was a counselor <laughs> in Russia, we have some system that the devotees were having diaries, special form of diaries, and they showing to me, and I correcting. Now I'm not doing this, but uh, that was helping to some devotees. Like, uh, I got it from this. Uh, my Gurudev didn't follow this, but it's also from some spiritual practice, some yogic system. That you making some diaries, writing what happened good, what happened bad. And then some, why going to um, devotees, senior devotees, he's saying, oh, this has happened because of this. You should, should rectify this. Is this and then devotee is always correcting, correcting. I'm not doing that like this now. But uh, good uh, if we have some doubts, we should go to someone senior and ask. That is good. Whether you have some diaries, special diaries or not, but better to go and ask immediately. That means if you are very pure, you will not allow any doubt to remain in your heart. Immediately you will ask. Very pure person, very simple. If you're not simple, you will not go. You will think, oh, this person is not, uh, cannot help me. No one can help me. Only I can help. Only maybe Krishna can help me. Yeah. Only. 
so I will keep in my heart and do what the outside I will do like I am perfect devotee. Cheating, cheating others. But after some time, this de doubts will develop more and more. And I saw many devotees, they joined, they were practicing very strongly. They were leaders, brahmanas, after some time, but I saw. Little by little, they became independent. Then they left practice. Someone criticized devotees, someone no. But that happened. Because of only due, you no know, bad association and doubts. More important association with mind. Doubts are there. Artamayana. Okay? Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.